Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Rocket engines are one among the most difficult and complex machinery to be made by mankind. The first working liquid rocket engine was developed by an American scientist called Robert Goddard in 1926. The rocket had a powered flight for about 2.5 seconds and flew for a height of 45 feet. Just like all modern liquid rockets, it had a separate fuel tank and a separate oxidizer tank. These two fed into a combustion chamber which generated thrust. Even though the first liquid fuel rocket was developed in the USA, the Germans were the first to actually use them. The V2 ballistic missile was the first widely used rocket. It was used to bomb Britain during the final stages of World War II. Unlike air breathing engines like the turbofan or turbojet, which use atmospheric oxygen for combustion, liquid fuel engines carry oxidizer with them. This allows us to use them for travel in space or in places where oxygen is not available. A normal liquid rocket engine has a combustion chamber, a nozzle, two fuel tanks and the plumbing for it. In a simple liquid rocket engine, the propellant is fed into the combustion chamber by static pressure from the tanks. The oxidizer and fuel are stored in the liquid state instead of their native gaseous state. Here, the propellants are fed into the combustion chamber by static pressure in the tanks. High pressure gas generated by the evaporation of the liquid propellant is used to force the fuel and oxidizer into the combustion chamber of the rocket. Here, it is ignited to produce hot gases which are forced out of the nozzle at a very high temperature and pressure. This high pressure lifts the entire rocket off the surface of the Earth. Now, why does that happen? It's because of Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the action is the high pressure gas from the nozzles and the reaction is the rocket going forward. The amount of thrust that is generated is dependent on many factors. To generate more thrust, you need more fuel flowing in the combustion chamber. This means you need high fuel pressures. That again means you need to have higher tank pressure. To have higher tank pressures, you need to have very, very strong tanks or else they'll just burst. But strong tanks are very heavy and this is not very feasible for a rocket where every ounce of weight matters. So to avoid this, a type of fuel pump called a turbo pump is used. These pumps force the fuel and oxidizer into the combustion chamber at very high pressure. The turbo pumps are also used in a fire engine to shoot jets of water onto great heights during fighting a fire. The pumps are generally driven by a gas turbine, which makes use of hot gas generated by burning some of the propellants. The other type of rocket engine is the solid fuel engine, and we'll be talking about that in the next video. Until then, bye.